Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of the Harnity Rail Journeys. Now, just like on the first programme, some clarity first, the reason why I'm not wearing a face covering, I am legally exempt from wearing a face covering because of my hidden disability concerns. So to give you some clarity first to get that out of the way. <clears throat> now, on to today's programme. We are here in Warrington Bank Key in Cheshire as we are waiting for the arrival of Jeremy Hoskins rebuilt West Country Pacific 34046 Brompton, working Sapos's first steam charter of 2021, the Felsman, going from Crewe along the West Coast Main Line as far as Farrington Junction, from where it will join the Settle and Carlisle Railway. And this will be 34046 Brompton's very first run over the Settle and Carlisle. So we're going to be seeing history in the making today, as for the first time since the 1990s, when Phil Swallow's 34027 Tor Valley ventured onto the Saddle and Carlisle back in the 1990s. So this is a history in the making day today, for the first time in over three decades. So, let's just wait now for 34046 Brompton to arrive.
while we make our way up to Carlisle and the Cervanti West Coast Class 390 Pendolino, let's review the engine's history of 34046 Brompton. Brompton is a Bully Pacific, built at Brighton Works in 1946, and it was outshopped in the Southern Rail style numbering as 21C146. Designed by the chief mechanical engineer of the Southern Railway, Oliver Bullied, to the original air smooth casing, all known during wartime as the Spam Cans. Brompton ran nameless for the first three years in service when it was first allocated at Exmouth Junction until 1949 after nationalisation, which by this time was given its British Railways number 34046. The engine was officially given its name Brompton in 1949 after a ceremony at Eastleigh Works. Brompton kept its original air smooth casing for another 10 years until it was rebuilt by British Railways in 1959, which by this time it was allocated had its final shed allocation to Bournemouth via Salisbury and Brighton. The engine remained in traffic for another six years until it was withdrawn from service in 1965. The engine was sold to Dye Woodham Scrapyard of Barry, arriving there in January of 1966, and it languished there for 22 years until it was rescued in 1988. In 2007, Brompton steamed for the first time since being redrawn in 1965 and completed at least 10,000 miles of running in before it was sent to the workshop city in Riley's to have its air braking equipment fitted along with the train protection warning system and on-train monitor recording electronics to enable Brompton to return to the main line. The engine was redrawn for its first overhaul in preservation just over a year later towards the end of 2014 and lasted for only two years until it steamed again in 2016, but with a big twist, as you'll see in the next few photos. In 2016, the engine was outshopped as its rebuilt Battle of Britain counterpart, 34052 Lord Dowding, as you can see here. Also during that time in 2016, Brompton was the first mainline loco to be outshopped at LNWR Heritage New Crew Depot at the South End of Crew Station. Brompton's final year carrying the full identity of Lord Dowding was in 2018, which during that time was to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Royal Air Force. During the summer of 2019, including a repaint during this period of maintenance, Brompton reacquired his own identity and name Brompton. Since then, Brompton has become one of the stalwarts for locomotive services under the ownership of Jeremy Hoskin, including visiting Heritage Railways and working a number of rail tours including the very first encounter as we see today over the Settle in Carlisle. Now, enough of the history of Brompton as we resume our journey as we approach Carlisle Citadel Station, where we will change trains for Laterby and Kirkwalds. <laughs> And now here at Lazenby in Kirkwalds on the Settle in Carlisle, which is, if you're going southbound from Carlisle, this is the second station out of Carlisle going southbound towards Leeds. So we're on our way, I'll be on my way shortly to get to my lineside location, ready for Brompton coming off from the south, coming from the south, heading northbound, which last time I checked it's around Helifield. We should be starting to climb up the long drag towards uh, Bleemore. Right then. So it's been a good start this morning, getting it at Warrington Bank Quay, and then we overtook it just before Springs Branch Junction at Wigan, and then we've seen it coming in and departing at Wigan Northwestern. And then we shot straight up the West Coast Main Line to Carlisle before changing trains onto the 158 I just got off to get to here at Laserby and Kirkwalds. Now I'm gonna head up to my line side location now. I'll join, you'll join me by the click of these fingers. 
And just like that, we're here at our live side spot. Just around the corner for Laser Me and Kirkwald. There's a bit of a trek to walk here, but as you see the view down there, very good, going sweeping around the curve. But not ideal if you if the sun's coming out. Not very great there, to be honest with you, but look at it now, it is clouding over, so we're hoping we'll be a, the sun can stay in this time, unlike the other day when I did get Bronson on the loaded test run the day before this trip. Anyway, we're just going to wait here now for 34046 Bronson, and then we'll make our way back to the station. We'll see you later. see get turned in service, we head onwards to Kirkby Stephen, where we will see Bronson on the return run and where we'll recap on today's adventure. That's it from Harnity Rail Journeys for this programme. I hope you've all enjoyed my day chasing Jeremy Hoskins 34046 Bronton. If you love this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more Rail Journey vlogs and non-Rail Journey content, make sure you subscribe to Harnity Railways and turn the notifications on so you'll be right up to date within seconds of the new contents going live. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you all next time in the next Harnessy Rail journey. Take care and goodbye.